Hello and welcome to tutorial number one in the Community Builder Conditionals uh, series of tutorials. Uh, CB Conditionals is a professional add-on that uh, you can download and install on your website. And let me just uh, dig in by giving a simple, typical use case how uh, CB Conditionals can be used. So let's assume here uh, I have my sign up form and I have two fields here favorite color to drop down single select drop down that has basically three colors and a option to select other and when somebody selects other basically they should type in a different color from the list into the text field uh, looking at that in the back end, let me just go in my fields area and I see these two fields. Favorite color is a single select drop down, and the other color is just a text field. Let me just look at this CB color again, <coughs> and we'll see basically the values green, red, blue, and other. Okay, and when we install CB conditionals, basically here we go here, CB conditional, installed it, let me just publish it. And let's look at it, the plugin parameters. We won't see anything special here. I mean, basically there's just uh, an enable, disable, CB conditions for backend usage. Disable is a default, we'll leave it. And there's a reset also, enable, disable, we'll leave it the way it is. You can look at the tooltips to see more uh, explanations of what this does. So we've basically published the plugin. And we'll see that our, uh, our fields and tabs right now, any field and tab, uh, will have an integration plugin. Uh, an integration tab basically. So if I go to the field management and see these two, for example, let's, let's look at this one, CB other color. We'll see, you know, besides the basic parameters, we'll see the integration tab has a CB conditionals sub tab. And there's various one, two, three, four, five tabs that we can use to set up conditionals on this field. Okay, so what we want to do basically right now is hide this field, the other color field, and show it only if other is selected. So if green is selected, this should not be shown. If red is selected, this should not be shown. The only way to show the other color is if other is selected. Okay, so how do we do that? Basically, let's follow the logic I just explained. I want, based on these values of this field, to hide another field altogether. So let me go to the back end and go to my CB color field, which is a drop down field, and go to the integration tab and go to CB conditionals, the first condition here. So, what I'm saying is if uh, this setting basically is normal, field condition, others, field condition, self. So I want this field basically to condition the effect of other fields. So that's why I'm selected this. And the operator, I want this field, if it equals to other, then what I'm going to do is show the other color field. So basically, I have the other color field here in my scrolling list. So it's simple enough. What this what this specific uh, setting does right now is it'll show the other. It'll show the other color tab, uh, the other color field, only if the drop down field is set to other. Now we want to go to condition two here, and we set this if this value is not equal to other, 
then I want to hide the field. So basically these two conditions here, the first one will show the other color field if other is selected and will hide the other color field if anything else but other is selected. So if it's not equal to other. Okay, let's go and see what happens here. Let me refresh here. Okay. Nothing is selected here, so the field is hidden. If I select green, there's no problem. Red, no blue, no problem. If I select other, I get the field showing up. Simple enough, but very useful. Uh, now, let me just go back and show you a different way you can do this. Let me just basically turn this off and this off here. Okay. This is the right way of doing it, though, the, what I've showed you. You basically uh, condition one field against another. Now, let's just save and close here, and I'll show you <coughs> a way you can do this. Let's go to the other field right away and go to the integrations tab of this, the first tab, and I say field conditional self. Basically, I want to condition this field based on somebody, some other field. So I say if, for example, just find this, favorite color, not equals to other, and then hide. So with one single configuration, I'm basically saying hide it if it's not equal to other. Let me just save this and see what happens. Refresh front end. It's hidden. Set it to other. It shows. So I've showed you two ways of doing things. Uh, you can do either one, but just be, care be careful here. If you condition one of these tabs for field condition self, you can't really do the same thing in a second tab because it'll just overwrite what you're doing in the first tab. It'll basically execute one after the other after the other. So uh, just keep that in mind. I think this is enough for the first tutorial. Thanks for listening. See you again later. Bye-bye.